Infinity Ward just gave us a bunch of new information on the DMZ mode coming out next week, and this might be the only way to unlock some of the DLC weapons. As always, we're going to be covering everything in this video in a rapid style format. That way, you can quickly watch this video and get right back into game. If you're new here on a sub, I would greatly appreciate it. If you left a like or a comment, it helps me out a ton. So here's the blog post. DMZ is a dangerous, diverse, and deep open world experience where players can choose their own level of intensity. Even in its earliest form, the DMZ experience is built for the most hardcore completionist. With faction missions, contracts, world events, stocking up the stash, helping out other squads or causing chaos breaking open locked chest and much more the living world has plenty to conquer on day one so right here they're saying even in its earliest form meaning this is going to be launching in a beta and they plan to add more to it as time goes on with more and more seasons this sandbox mode is where players of all skill levels can choose their own way to play and win the goal is to loot up and get out alive it's about exploring an active world of aq forces and enemy operators completing missions and objective and exfiltrating with loot cash valuables and rewards to build out your inventory for the next infiltration set your own stakes and ultimately earn some high tier items for use across the rest of modern warfare 2 in warzone 2. so they're saying you're going to be able to earn some high tier items that are going to be usable in all the modes including obviously mp multiplayer and you're also going to be able to use them in warzone 2.0 these are probably going to be blueprints and there's actually a weapon you're going to be able to unlock which we're going to talk about a little bit later while players can choose how and where to engage all operators must exfil from the map to reap the rewards players will ultimately fight for mastery of the mode by discovering all the experiences and rewards it has to offer while dmz begins in almazera no one quite knows where it might lead so they're talking about mastery here but i don't think they're talking in this in terms of you know like a mastery camo or a mastery calling card i think they're talking about it just mastering the mode in general stash slash inventory dmz involves keeping a stash or inventory of weapons and other valuable items from the exclusion zone players will start with a small inventory of free contraband weapons contraband guns are only usable in dmz and if you lose them on the battlefield they're gone forever weapons acquired from other players or enemies on the field are considered contraband after extracting with them so essentially you're going to have these weapons if you bring them in and you die and you don't exfil with them they're gone forever however if you go back in you get more weapons you exfil with them you're going to be able to take those into your next match Call of Duty is about customizing weapons, so we wanted to bring those creations into DMZ, whether it's a personal modification or a weapon blueprint. Really glad to hear this. I was afraid you weren't going to be able to use blueprints, camos, charms, all that stuff in DMZ, but this pretty much confirms it. For, for a fact, you're going to be able to use weapon blueprints, and when they say making those creations, I'm pretty sure they're talking about camos, charms, so you're going to be able to fully deck out your weapon like you can with multiplayer and Warzone. At first, you will have one insured weapon slot for any personal loadout weapon or weapon blueprint. Additional insured weapon slots can be earned by leveling up with factions so with this you're going to have an insured weapon and if you go in and lose it you're actually going to be able to get that weapon back and it's not going to be gone forever for those looking for an alternative path to unlocking weapons versus traditional weapon xp earned in matches uh, acquiring a contraband weapon will unlock the base weapon in gunsmith usable in multiplayer and battle rail uh, if, if i'm reading this right what this sounds like you'll actually be able to unlock weapons before you hit the required level in multiplayer so the signal 50 you unlock it i think at level 44 if you go into dmz get it and you exit with it you'll have that unlocked in multiplayer and be able to use it even though you know you could be way under leveled for it at least that's what it sounds like for me if you lose an insured weapon, remember insurance takes time. Unless you're willing to pay the right price, extracted cash and valuables speed up the cooldown on those slots. So even if you have an insured weapon and you lose it, you're not going to get it back right away. There's going to be a time you have to wait before that gets returned to you. Your stash also contains certain items taken out of the exclusion zone, which can be put into your loadout and backpack for the next infiltration and give you access to special locations. If your backpack fills up during a match, operators can visit one of six dead drop locations to stash items for extraction in a later match. Infill loadout emissions. DMZ is a trios based mode with the option to play as a solo or a duo by disabling squad fill. We recommend you start with trios as Almazair exclusion zone is a dangerous place. So even if you decide to play this solo, you still might run into a group of up to three people that is just going to be the default for this mode but if you are playing solo you could probably get some more loot because you're not sharing it with everyone else but you might run into the issue of uh finding a three-man squad which could be yeah that's not going to go down too well to teach you how to play and give you those first rewards of dmz you accept factions missions these are from the world's most powerful npc groups the legion white lotus and black modus with the legion being your starting faction the other two are unlocked by completing the other faction missions by completing a certain number of faction missions you advance up a faction's mission tiers 
These missions offer significant challenge coupled with significant unique rewards. So these unique rewards are probably going to be calling cards, charms, weapon blueprints. Hopefully there's some really cool weapon blueprints in here. Maybe even some universal base camos. We don't know. We're not going to know until the mode launches next week. Players will infiltrate the exclusion zone with their chosen loadout, insured or contraband, or they can bring nothing at all. Sometimes all it takes is a pair of fists and a dream. The exact point of infiltration is random every time, ensuring that no two DMZ matches will play the same. To get more items, players will have to extract them out of the exclusion zone with their backpack. This will provide an experience for players to complete a supply run as an example in which players can complete a run just to gear up for future deployment. In addition to the backpack, players can exfil from the world with on soldier items, including backpacks, self revives, armor plate carriers, etc. This is critical for players looking to engage with high tier enemies early in the match next infill. Within the exclusion zone, other than completing the objectives laid out in the faction missions, players are also free to explore the exclusion zone to collect more items for their inventory and take on optional assignments. These can be for completing contracts such as rescuing a hostage, taking down a high value target, or taking part in a world event such as activating a SAM turret or a UAV tower. Like Warzone 2.0, players can expect logical looting. Items exist in Almazera and places they may exist in the real world, such as medical supplies in a bathroom or hospital, a police station or military outpost may contain more tactical gear. There are very few limitations on where you can explore in DMZ. First, lock spaces, which are special areas within the exclusion zone and strongholds guarded by AQ forces. Players must obtain keys to gain access to these high value places, also, DMZ won't have a circle collapse, but players will need to monitor radiation as well as the occasional sandstorm. We don't yet know what is causing this deadly energy or what operators might get from finding a source. This is interesting. I wonder if there's going to be kind of like a big mission you can do almost like an Easter egg in DMZ. And I wonder if they're going to have like storyline where they progress along with this and there's going to be different events and stuff because Warzone got a bunch of events. It'd be really cool to see DMZ get some Warzone style events in it as well. Only time's going to tell with that. Again, there is no definitive objective or path to victory here in DMZ. You are responsible for mapping out your own success in this mode with plenty of rewards for your efforts, double XP tokens, calling cards, weapon charms and other cosmetics. They pretty much said everything here except for blueprints. So hopefully other cosmetics are also blueprints. I would love some really cool looking blueprints in this mode. And finally, the ultimate reward, the M13B uh, assault rifle. This functional weapon is part of the Bruin Ops platforms along with the new Bass P SMG can be yours to use across all modes in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 mode. So yes, you're going to be able to unlock the M13B from playing the DMZ mode. They don't say that this is the only way you can unlock it. This could be like the previous games like Vanguard, where you could unlock it in Zombies, MP, or Warzone. But for some reason, they said the ultimate reward. The way they phrase this makes me think you might only be able to unlock the M13B assault rifle here in DMZ, because they call this the ultimate reward of DMZ. And if this is, you know, the ultimate reward you get for playing DMZ, you shouldn't be able to unlock it in MP, or Warzone by doing a challenge. I know in the last few games, whenever they added a new DLC weapon, you could do a challenge challenge you know in multiplayer you could do a challenge in zombies or you could do a challenge in warzone and if you unlocked it in one mode it was usable in all of them i would kind of prefer that because forcing people to play dmz to be able to unlock new weapons is a little strange but who knows i could be completely wrong on this we're gonna have to wait till next week once it launches and we'll see how it's gotten just ultimate reward makes me think this might be dmz exclusive to be able to obtain this weapon Exfil. Winning is determined by the player's choices and the consequences that follow, but ultimately, exfilling from the exclusion zone is your main objective in each match. Part of DMZ's design is to make every match matter. Anything you get in DMZ is in your loadout or backpack is lost upon death. Players can still be revived by their squad mates, even after dying, although it will take longer than usual uh, downed revive, but if everyone drops, all that precious loot gets dropped too. Uh, the only exceptions are insured weapons, which are part of your stash. This is just the beginning. We've built a massive living world in DMZ with challenging enemies, a deep mission system, side quest secrets, and more. As we look to the future, we hope to reward players for exfiltration in new ways as we work towards new uses for cash and items. DMZ does not set out to replicate, and we can't wait to see how it plays in the wild. We hope players share their adventures with us as well as feedback about their experience. See you in DMZ uh, beginning November 16th. So I'm still pretty excited for DMZ. I know the gameplay we saw was pretty underwhelming, but as long as there's a lot of unlocks and different challenges to keep me playing, I think there's a lot of fun to have in this mode, and hopefully they take a lot of the feedback once it launches and keep building onto it, because I really do think if Call of Duty does a DMZ mode and they do it right and it gives you that right rewarding effort. 
I do think this could replace Warzone still. I don't think DMZ in its current state is going to be able to do that. But if they really work at this and make this, you know, a big experience, this could be one of the bigger features of Call of Duty. Also, they did put the word beta at the end of DMZ, so it is confirmed. Uh, Warzone is going to be launching in beta. I'm not sure if they decided to add this after the reception it got from all you know the gameplay that was shown off during that one event and with that i'm gonna wrap up this video here let me know how you currently feel about dmz after all the footage we saw a few days ago and everything they talked about here in this blog post also how you would feel if the m13b would only be unlockable via the dmz mode uh, if you guys want to be fully kept up to date with anything call of duty make sure to sub to the channel if you love to like our comment i appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one peace